Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Conversations with Curtis. On this Monday, the 10th of April, uh, it's great to be back. I was gone last week out of town, drove down to Eugene, Oregon in the pounding rain on a two-lane freeway. Uh, trucks just spewing water all over the car. It was, it was pretty scary, but I got I got through it, got there, got back. And now we're here, and I'm excited to get back to uh, the the thrill a minute adventure game of X Files. I mean, it just never stops. There's just so much action going. It's hard to hard to keep a keep track. But we're super excited to play. Uh, Tori's here, Daniel's here, and they'll be out in just a minute. But it's good to see you guys. I'm seeing uh, uh, some old friends, Nelson Miguel. Good to see you, Zwex. There you are. Uh, Lala, I don't know if I know that. Uh, Lala, good to see you. Thanks for joining. And Sasha Knightfield, good to see you too. Um, so yeah, I think people will be rolling in as we go here. What else? I don't know. How are you guys? You guys doing okay? You guys had a good week? Good weekend? You have a good Easter? Does anybody celebrate Easter? You guys do uh, get out and you know have some Easter egg hunts, things like that? <laughs> All right. Um Sins. Hi, Paul. Glad to have been able to drop in a live stream finally. Yes, glad to have you here too. It looks like, oh, it's funny. Your sin is Tom Cruise. Tom, Tom Cruise backwards. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, good to see you guys. We've got some new folks. Tyler Trinker, there's there's some old old name, Scorpio. All right. Um, what do we got here? We've got X Files. We were on part four, part five. I don't remember. And we'll get back to that today. Daniel and I will be back on Friday with uh, another round of Return to Monkey Island. And Wednesday, we are going to be uh, recording our next uh, podcast. We have a, I'll let Daniel join us and talk about who our guest is for that uh, for that podcast. And then we have a really cool guest coming up that uh, I guess we'll talk about in a little while. So there you go. Um, why don't we pay tribute to our Patreon and coffee donors? There they are. Just want to say thank you. These guys are amazing. They've been with us for most of these people have been with us for well over a year and have just continued to support us and keep us uh, keep us going. We're excited to, to have you. So thank you. Malika Chandler, as always, being our top donor. Really appreciate it. Francois Damagella. Robbie Thurio, Joseph Austin, Moff Reborn being our top donors. Thank you guys. And then our 20 and $10 donors. Uh, we can't thank you all enough. And if you're in a position, please consider joining us. We are talking to our Discord server and talking about new and fun things that we can do to offer our Patreon and coffee members. Two of them that seemed to get the most, the most uh, traction was uh, uh, a live Q&A. Uh, once a month with Daniel and myself and Toria, she wants to join us uh, just to get a chance to chat with you guys and answer any questions you have. And then the other thing is Daniel putting together some uh, adventure game retrospectives of some of his and our favorite games and kind of talking about uh, the ins and outs and all of that. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. And we'll put some of those together for you as well. So hopefully that will keep our Patreon uh, membership healthy and uh, and growing. So thanks all. Um, as for coffee, our regular donations, let's see, I'm on, I always went the wrong way. There we go. Uh, top 30, top seven for the past 30 days, James Jenkins. Oh, is it this way? I'm backwards. I'm seeing myself on two separate things here. James Jenkins, Wex. Ooh, December Clark went into number three. That's awesome. Well, way to go. Uh, he had a big old donation last, last week, which was really, really sweet. Pessina, CJ, Moff Reborn, and Scorpio. You guys are awesome. So thank you so much for your support. And now it is time to bring out my cohorts in crime solving. And that would be Daniel and Tori. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hi. Hi. How How's are you? Going? Good. How are you? How was your week? How was your weekend? Did you do anything fun and, you know, Eastery? Uh Me? <laughs> yeah, you. I don't think Daniel's going to do much in the way of Easter, but uh... no, 
Um, we just um, did an Easter egg hunt, even though Ian's 19 and my niece who's with us is 21. And then we had my friend's son visiting who's 17. And we did, we just did like a quick Easter egg hunt, which was fun. That's and great. Then, yeah. Yeah. We've been doing They're still beans. into it. So my I know I was surprised. My kids uh, demanded, we, we do jelly bean hunts, which is, you know, they're, that gets, yeah. <laughs> they look for little tiny jelly beans. And then every year I just run into jelly beans that didn't get found. So our house is just filled with, you know, rat food, I guess. But, uh, um, but yeah, we did that. I was surprised how much they, I was surprised how much they still like it. It's funny to think here that your, your adult children are, uh, are. Yeah. Old. Well, I usually do. We started doing this in Ashland, um, my sister's house where we would do these treasure hunts and they'd be these elaborate treasure hunts where we give clues, these like rhyming clues, and one clue leads to another clue. So we would go off in the forest and we'd hide clues in trees and, and under rocks, two, and you'd have to puzzle of follow. Flash. What the hell is this? Wow, it's amazing seeing all of you together. Yalla Bell again. I think we've seen you here before. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks for your your uh, thanks for your donation. Sorry, and, and and thanks for interrupting Tori in the middle of a story. Jeez. Anyway, but we so we so we do those, and so I do those. I do that same kind of treasure hunt every Easter, but I didn't do it this year. But my <laughs> my kids still like it. So that's awesome. How, what did you do, Daniel? How was your weekend? How did you not? Well, celebrate? I I sped run um, Fantas Fogoria two for four hours mm -hmm. until yeah, I got my new uh, personal best at thirteen. 22 the world it. record is is now it has been beaten this weekend again it's now 11 32 so i have ways to go and nice. and i got my sealed copy of phantasmagoria one now in the in my previous attempt to speedrun the game i did a coffee goal asking people who joined the, the speed run to help me collect money for a sealed copy of Phantasmagoria 1. To win a 28-year-old sealed copy of Phantasmagoria 1 with um, air from 1995 sealed inside of it. Let me just cancel my... Air. <laughs> that looks just like the original. Because it is the original, Tori. That's exciting. So this is my copy, my sealed copy from 1995. Here's story over here. <laughs> Being scared. Being scared. Wow. When are we going to open that bad boy and let the 90, the 30 something air out? Well, I, I'm currently working on the camera setup because this can only be opened once. So I don't want to find out that I haven't been recording while I've been opening it. So <laughs> people want to... Everybody Sorry. wants you to tell them a story, Tori, now that you've, uh, it's like, and Tori, tell us a story, they're saying. <laughs> what kind of story? <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, Daniel, do me a favor. You're going to drive me, it's going to, I'm going to drive you crazy, but I, I'm, I, can you do horizontally flip me? I'm, I'm, what, what I'm seeing, just so everybody else knows it, is we're on Zoom. So we're on the Zoom. Yeah, I see Tori and myself Blood. on our Zoom windows there we go that makes so much better yeah but then but, the text is backwards oh seattle public market is backwards yeah all right i guess you can go back is the that problem pike is, is, is what, that pike place yeah it's pike place mark i figured mm -hmm. since uh since we're since the x files is uh taking place in, in downtown seattle i would i would i would honor that today yeah it's um, great but the top thing i'm seeing is what you guys are all seeing, but it's the opposite of what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing me. It's too. It's it's kind of crazy, but I'll I'll deal with it. Okay. Um, Great story. <laughs> I have a I have a story that I want to tell you guys. Um, they asked Tori to tell a story, and you told the story. <laughs> yeah, a really boring one. I'm uh, so bad at telling stories. Anybody can take over. <laughs> so here's my story. I was uh, I was driving. I was on tour last week. I was training uh, 
the guy we were we were doing our going into schools and doing these these programs and and uh th- there is so much road rage right now on it, it is it's worse than oh what do we got scorpio tipped five pieces of eight happy x files monday happy, happy x files monday thank you scorpio um Anyway, there's there's so much. Uh, it's 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 very weird how much negative energy is out there right now. Uh, I was driving, you know, on the main street in Eugene, Oregon, and I was going to make a right onto the, you know, at the at the light, and I get in the right hand lane. But then I get in the right hand lane. I realize, oh, I'm not in the right hand lane. I'm in a bus lane. You know, it's like a bus is only. So I'm like, well, I got to get out of there. And I realized that everybody's already lined up and there's a little gap. So I kind of get into the gap um, just to get out of the bus lane. And the guy behind me honks, you know, he's mad because I, I, I got in front of him, which I get. I totally understand that. And then I rolled on the window and I kind of did like, you know, Hey, sorry about that. You know, just sort of, I, you know, whatever. And, and uh, drive, make my right and then i have a you know couple hundred yards and i'm making a left into this uh into the lot that has the uh rental car agency that we're i'm dropping my my trainee off and this guy follows me and he's in a big truck and he follows me and then i I park and then he kind of circles around and i'm like what's going on and and he's look yeah he's looking at me and so he's maybe 25 yards away. And at that point I just see him and I, I, I just, I, I wave to him and ask him to roll down his window, but he stops the car and he opens the door and he, and he gets out. And I'm like, and I just, before he said, did anything, I said, Hey, I just want to apologize. I'm not from around here. I got stuck in a bus lane. I didn't know how to get out. And I saw a little opening and I ended up getting in front of you. And I'm sorry, I cut you off, but, but that wasn't my intention. And you could just see him. He was so angry. And he immediately went like, oh, oh, well, okay. And he didn't know what to do with all this anger. He was like ready to, I don't think he was ready to fight, but he was going to yell at me for sure. But I, I I, kind of took the sail out before he got a chance to do that. And and you could tell he just like, well, oh, all right. And and then I see he's got like a 17-year-old kid in the, in the car with him. And, and I'm like, and then they get in the car. And they just sit there for about five minutes while my my trainees kind of get in his car situation. I'm looking out the window and they're not leaving. And I'm like, what's going on? You know, and then finally they leave. And that was just one of those moments. And then, then I'm driving home to, to my hotel and I have to get on the freeway for like two exits. So get on the freeway, have to drive over and then get off the exit. So I'm on the freeway. I'm in the fast lane for a second or two, pull over. And as I pull over, Two cars go by me. One car goes by, and then the second one in this Jeep honks. And I don't know what he's honking at, but then as he drives by me, he flips me off. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I, I don't know what the heck I did to that guy because I literally just got on the car on the freeway. But there is so and then driving back on the on the freeway from Seattle, people are zipping along. They hate being in a two-lane freeway. They hate. You know, so they're just trying to go, and I've saw so many accidents. It's a, it's a, it's crazy town out there right it's now. It is crazy, and crazy you know what? Town. That's that's what's crazy about that story is, I find people in Oregon to be more polite than other places. The drivers, like Portland, especially, they're super polite. Yeah, but oh, this, so yeah, this is a little more, a little more of a college town. I don't know, but it was, it was a him for a loop though. Like he didn't know how to handle this niceness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe he <laughs> recognized you. Maybe he likes <laughs> Phantasmagoria too. Oh, I'm yeah, sure that's, that's it, Daniel. I, I, I'm, I'm actually positive that that's it. You could tell he had that look of a, of a, of retro- acknowledgement. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I, I had somebody. I was p- making a left from my from sunset onto my street. And so I'm in the turn lane to go left. And then the guy behind me went around me on my left to turn because he didn't want to wait for because I didn't want to turn because a car was coming and somebody didn't want to wait for me and went in front of me. And then when I got behind him, I said, what what are you doing? Because you were taking too long. And then he starts filming me. Like I'm the one. <laughs> Maybe he recognized like, you from Francis Magoria one. <laughs> I'm sure that was it too. Exactly. 
Maybe she that's what I'll are. Just because I said it's so dangerous, she started filming me. Yeah, because you, you are me. you are scary when you get mad, I'll bet. I am. <laughs> people have done such crazy people are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Flipping, flipping, they flip you off for just trying to be safe. It's so weird. Strange times. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, enough of that. Daniel, have you been flipped off recently? I've been flipped off daily. Come on. Uh, you know, okay. when I when I came to the US uh, a decade ago, I was so pleasantly surprised when I when I got to LAX. I had to drive to my hotel, which was in Beverly Hills. So it was I don't know, it was supposed to be a short drive, but we landed at seven AM or eight AM. So we were in traffic for like an hour and a half. Yeah. And I've never been so calm in my life. Like no one was switching lanes. Everyone was sitting in their lane waiting. And I have no problem with traffic. I have paper, I have problems with people switching lanes and with people cutting me off. Mm-hmm. And this happens daily over here. So the fact that you finally caught up over there. <laughs> so you found great. so you were pleasantly surprised. Yeah. You're saying. That's because nice. because over here, when I'm in my car, I always feel like I'm in a war zone. I always know that someone's going to cut me off or someone's going to flip me off or someone's going to be angry about something or whatever. That's just the norm, right? Yeah, that, yeah. that was when I was when I was in Mexico this uh, last two years and we went down for 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 Christmas in Mexico City. You know, so I think it's the second biggest city in the world. And it's that the driving there is just otherworldly in terms of everybody is just there it is a it's a different beast but the the pro in this situation is that we don't own guns over here while you (laughs) guys do that's true and that's that's part of the fear like seeing that guy get out of his car you just don't know what that's yeah that's the first thing i thought of yeah so anyway enough of that let's let's play it let's play a, a really exciting game of of Intrigue. But before we play the okay. most imp- uh, interesting game ever released, we're going to play Six Degrees of Phantasmagoria. What? Ooh. Okay. So, let's do we get the play or are you just going to tell us cool stuff? I'm going I'm going to tell you cool stuff, but it's still okay. Six Degrees of Phantasmagoria. <laughs> okay, so I want to give a shout out to two people. First of all is Sandra Hunter. Do you know her, Paul? No, that sounds like a great name, though. Okay, Sandra Hunter is a a great name. So Sandra Hunter was the first assistant director in Phantasmagoria 2. What? Yup. You should know her. You should know the staff. Our assistant director, Sandra Hunter. If I saw a picture of her, maybe I'd remember her. So anyway, Sandra was the first assistant director in Phantasmagoria 2. And her first and her work on Phantasmagoria 2 probably landed her her next job, which as was on the X Files game as assistant director. What? That's and then, so cool. And then she left the business. She worked on Phantasmagoria 2, X Files the game, and that's it. That did it for her. I yeah, wonder if she's in that. Games. I have that one backstage picture of all the people sitting behind, and I wonder if she's one of those people. Well, she might be. Hmm. You should have known her, Paul. Do you have a Do you have a picture of her? I don't. Mm. I'll try to, to get one for the next live stream. Yeah. Anyway, oh, wow. the second person I want to give a shout out to is Mikey McMullen. Mickey McMullen. Mickey. Yeah. Okay, Mickey. Mickey McMullen. And uh, do you know him? Sure, I remember Mickey. <laughs> you just. <laughs> no. Do you understand how many years ago this was, Daniel? <laughs> so anyway, Mickey McMullen was uh, credited as the sound mixer in Phantasmagoria 2. So mm. if we ever want to complain about the sound mixing, and we have a lot of complaints about the sound mixing in Phantasmagoria 2, this is the guy we should talk to. So, well, the only issues we have are just not being able to mix it on when we're streaming, right? It's not, we can't... No, change. it's the sound mixing in the game. Oh, but okay. it's fine. Mickey, you did a great job. Don't but maybe it's not Mickey's <laughs> fault. Maybe it is the different, um, um, the technology changing. Maybe it's, maybe it's other issues, which I 
wouldn't know about because I <laughs> don't. I'm not technological. <laughs> I'm There's just saying. Nice we, story. We yeah. need to blame Mickey. That's yeah. all I'm saying. All right. Anyway, his work on Phantasmagoria 2 probably helped him land his next job, which was on X Files. X Files game as boom operator. Oh, well, I, th I thought that he might be my boom operator. I, th I vaguely remember that might have been his name, but I don't. Do you know who the boom operator was on Fantas 2? No, but he appears in all of our high quality videos because we see the boom mic. Yeah, I think that might have been him. I think I might have been Mickey the guy. was dating uh, the yeah. hunter lady. Is it Sandra? Yeah. Yeah. What's her name? Sandra Hunter. Sandra, Sandra Hunter. Hunter. Maybe they were a couple. Now, after he play, he worked on these two video games, he left the video game industry and then went on to become a sound mixer in Hollywood. Oh. Now, in 2009, he was the sound mixer on a movie called Crimes of the Past. Starring, hey, I'm in that movie. Starring one Paul Morgan Stetler. <laughs> <laughs> So wow. you should you should know Mickey Paul. You yeah, worked Mickey with him on two pro projects. Yeah, we should go. Uh, we should go have a have a beer somewhere. Yeah, I remember That's that crazy. movie. You remember that movie, but do you remember Mickey? Just kidding. You know, You've been I think doing some sleuthing there, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that a lot in in our Gabriel Knight live streams and our Phantasmagoria live streams, and now that we've done a poll on our discord channel and it seems that people are interested in retrospectives and and all of these interesting tidbits so i'm back to it yeah you are and, and how um so let's let's continue well, so let's we, continue. A, a few behind the scenes photos so we have jillian anderson aka scully playing the game and it seems that they put her in the cage because yeah. there's no other way she'll play the game <laughs> Got her behind a cage. What's that all about? Probably to to get the fanboys away from her. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. And here's a um a production still a portrait oh, yeah. of. Do you know her name in the game? She's Detective Somebody. Astador. Mas Ast Mary Ast 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 Astadorian. Mary Astadorian. That's right. That's her name. You know now, how I you know I remember her name was Astadorian? How do you remember? Because I read it on the on on the back. On, we go back to the photo. Oh, it's written at the bottom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a very distinctive. That's how I name. remembered. You're so clever. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm a I, nothing well, gets well, by me. Now the production company that uh, makes uh, that made the X Files. TV series and this game was called 1013 Productions because uh, the creator Chris Carter was born on October 13th. All right. And so I wanted to see who works at 1013 Productions. So I found someone on LinkedIn. Mickey! And, <laughs> and you can see that from 1996 till 2003. <laughs> She was the vice president of 1013 Productions. Jillian and Anderson. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mary Estatorian. Oh, way. Wow. Okay. So they, you know, it's a very distinctive name. And it was kind of weird that, you know, she has a name that's not generic like Jane Smith. Detective mm -hmm. Jane Smith from the Seattle PD. So that's the name of vice president of the production company that created this game and the X-Files. And you know who else? Wait, the wait, wait, fisherman, wait. James Wong. He's also a producer on X-Files. Really? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. interesting. They just use the names oh. of producers. Mm -hmm. They use the names oh, of the producers name. to, just to, to, to honor them by putting them in the, in the game? Yeah. That's great. Okay. One last thing. <laughs> it's going great, Daniel. I'm loving it. All right. You see this location? Yeah, space available. We, should I write down that phone number? Yeah, call it in real life. Let's let's uh, rent this place. <laughs> Anything look familiar over here? 
It's a photo from 2021. This is a photo from 2021. Yeah. Um, n- not a, f- uh, I mean, I, I don't, it's pretty small where I'm looking at it here. Uh, okay. Let's move to 2019. Does anything look familiar here? Familiar? What do you mean? Is this the warehouse? Let's switch to 2018. Seems like there was a structure here and it was demolished. Mm. Do you see it? Let's switch to 2017. It's the warehouse. Oh. Oh. Oh, Wow. So it got demolished after 2017. this, This is where we park our car. Ah. And this is where the other car, which I uh, photographed, left the car that was following us. Yeah, you did a great job photographing yeah. the car. <laughs> so, and over here, I can I can access it through Google Street View, but over here is where the pier would be. Yeah, I would go down the pier. Yeah. So basically, the, and as as we go back to 2014, it looks um, similar. More and more similar to how it looked back in back in 1998. So you see, the windows okay. are very distinctive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's also been they've also been a lot of rocks have been thrown at them over the years. Look at how all the broken windows. So and, I wonder if the dock that they used is actually behind this or if it's a different location. No, it's behind this. It is actually behind that. Yeah. So yeah, this place yeah. was demolished in the same year that the lead actor died. Oh, our, our lead actor, our, our guy? Yep, he died in 2018. Oh, wow, um, did we know that already? How old was he? He must have been, he couldn't 50, have been more than- 52 or something. Oof, that's awful. Aw. That's sad. Okay. Hmm. I'm sorry to, to bring you all you down. All out. Yeah. Let's play. <laughs> all right, let's play this game. We're all in very interesting. Um, little tidbits. Yep. Yes, they were. Except for the. Except death for this. The, yeah. <laughs> this. I mean, I remember you telling us that, but I. But I decided <laughs> we, to forget it. Yeah. Uh, so I know. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let me just share the game with you guys. Oh, I, I want to. While we're you're getting it all set up. Um, I was telling Daniel this. I, a guy, the guy that I was working with this week, you know, he's a video. He likes to play video games, and uh, he recommended one because my my family and I have been playing games like Inside and Little Nightmares and having a lot of fun playing those. And he said, "Oh, if you like that, you should check out this game called uh, The Stanley Parable." So we started to play it last night. I'm not sure if anybody who's watching this has uh, played that game, but it's pretty fun. It's, we've only played like the first 10, 15 minutes. So we were just at the beginning, but it's, uh, it, it looks, it, it's intriguing and looks like a lot of fun. I'm curious what, what people's thoughts are if they've played it already. I need to start doing that with, with Ian. You should, he, he can, I'm you just, that. you really should. It's, it's so much fun and he'd probably have a lot of fun sharing, sharing it with you. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't want to play Phantasmagora 1 with him, then you should play Phantasmagora 2 with him. That would be fun, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> you, you or, know, maybe, or maybe something like inside to start something that, uh, <laughs> yeah, something a little less, a uh, little less mature. You know, both, both games. A little less kid. S&M. <laughs> yeah, a little less S&M with your kid. Uh, Daniel clearly <laughs> hasn't, his kids are too young. Are you going to be, when are you going to show them your Wait, favorite how game? You, how, how many kids do you have, Daniel? I have two kids. One is oh. eight, the other is three. And is, have you watched Fantastic Two with the eight-year-old one yet? A couple times. About no. To do that. <laughs> but you can't wait until you can. <laughs> All right. Hey, where here, are we? What, here's what, the what game I we... played the, back in the day with your mom. Okay. We were right, in what? the ship. Remember the ship, the Tarakan. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, right. Okay. So we're still in the ship. And oh, we're supposed to. Aren't we supposed to get something wait, in the ship? Wait, um, wait, wait, what's isn't that an open? Didn't we get something out of there? Yeah, what did we, what did we get? 
I think I think we just checked it out. We didn't find anything here. But we looked in it. You're right. Okay. Okay, so let's But there was nothing in it? That's weird. Weirder things have happened in this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like I am playing the deluxe edition backwards Tom Cruise from Australia. That was the only one that was available. Oh my god. ZJ Wex tipped 250 pieces 08. What? Wow. Schwex, what are you doing? What? what? Wait, Schwex, was this supposed to be a commission or, or a donation during the live stream? First of all, thank you. Yeah, first of all, mind blowing thank you. Mm hmm. And second, but we also also know that we think you are we, we we we're excited about what we think you'll be wanting to do with us at some point. He well, says it, yes. He says yes, but to which? Well, which well we part? asked two questions at the same time, so we. <laughs> <laughs> is it a commission or is it a donation? I use the coffee thing. Okay, so the, basically the commissions are, are not through the coffee thing, they're through the commissions page, but... But... Oh, no! He did use the the commissions. Okay. So, uh, just so everyone's uh, in line with what Schwex is doing, he just bought the $250 commission for co-host for a day. So he's going to co-host uh, a live stream with us, playing a game of his choice, and... That's it. Yeah, Schwex, I'm excited. Can, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> can't wait to uh can't wait to hear what you got. That's going to be good. Yeah, so we are that said That's awesome. Okay, let's just keep going. But uh, thank you so much, man. That's great. I'm excited to see what you got. Um Okay. Well, so there, Sorry. Wait, but there's got to be something on here, this boat. Yeah, there's got to be something on the boat. That's uh, that's a fact. But where? That is. What's straight ahead? Nothing. I can't do anything. Straight, straight ahead, ahead, we have. I don't go know. To the left. Can you go to the left? I can go to the left, and What's I that? have. Have we done this? Ooh. I think it's the... Oh, interesting. Should they go up? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we're Ooh. talking. There's a book over okay, here. There There's something. Okay. Hmm. okay. How can we did I take... find that early? That's did good. I take the book? Where's the book? I think we took it. But it's not okay. in my inventory. Is it up at the top? No. This huh. is more it's confusing. Like some things end up in the top, and we can't. Get oh, it's to in that. it's in my evidence kit. Okay, found it. Oh, that is okay. that is super confusing. That's All right, stupid. Let's read the book. Okay. okay. Oh, oh boy, yeah. that's not. Yeah. That's not in English. It's Russian. Is that Russian? Yeah. <clears throat> Big lap. All right. How do we? What do we do here? How do we? We need someone to. We need to find an interpreter. What day are we on? How many days? Where where are we in this game? We're in day two. I think we didn't finish all of the things we were supposed to do in day one, but we just went to sleep because... We were exhausted. <laughs> yeah, because of reasons. We were. It was a long day. <laughs> it, was it was a, a really long couple long of days. Day. Um, what's that behind the table? Is that anything in the corner? I No. Let's go find. Let's go find. Can we see anything our, on the wall on the right? What's on? What's on the wall right? On, on the wall over here. Yeah. Oh no. It's not clickable, but we can no. go straight ahead, and. Ooh. There are things over here, but none of them are clickable. I think uh, it doesn't. I bet. I don't know why I feel like what's her name said she did she say she spoke Russian or something? Uh, oh. The producer, Astadorian, whatever uh, that that yeah the producer. She yeah. Um, is that a Russian she, name? 
Oh, well, I bet she speaks. Yeah, she might. Maybe the producer does. Doesn't mean the character does. But you remember her saying that, Paul? Oh, I don't. I don't remember anything. I, I vaguely think I do, but I don't know if she did. We got an eye. We got an eye. We got oh, an eye. Oh, let's pick that up. Oh, another Russian thing. Yeah, this is exciting. It's good stuff. <laughs> Take a picture of it. <laughs> Hmm. Uh -huh. Looks like looks like something. Ledger. Maybe <clears throat> maybe they were selling drugs. Maybe. Or maybe, maybe these are alien. yeah. Does this have anything to do with aliens? It's the the X Files or this yeah, game. Yeah, I keep I keep expecting <laughs> aliens, but. Does this game have anything to do with aliens? Because yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Not yet, right? Yeah. Where, yeah. Where's our aliens? Come on. There's supposed to be something out there, isn't there? It's not just boredom. Stuff. The yeah. boredom, boredom is out there. <laughs> with Paul's game, I was not expecting aliens. We got aliens. This game, I'm expecting aliens. No aliens so That's far. Right. So you're in team aliens, right? Mm -hmm. Because a lot, a lot of the times, um, you know, they'd ha they'd have various kinds of episodes. They'd have uh, government conspiracy episodes in X Files, mm -hmm. and then they'd have the Monster of the Week episodes with um, it wasn't aliens, but it was more like monsters. And then they have the aliens episode. So you are a fan of the aliens episodes? Where am I? Uh yes, I like I like the aliens episodes. What's that handprint? Go back to that. Take a picture <laughs> of it. Dust it for prints. Pick that thing up. Is that a cigarette? We finally found the cigarette butt. <laughs> okay. I'm outside again. All right. Okay. Let's see. Nothing here. I can go left or right. Let's go left. What's that? Nothing in, of interest here. Let's keep walking. Climb up the stairs. Yeah, right. climb up. Uh, you can't show I us. Can. A you can't show us a ladder and not let us climb up. Come on. We can't do any of the fun stuff we want to do. It's so frustrating. Yeah. What about those other stairs? Can we go? Can we go take a nap? Yeah, those. Ooh. Do you remember this stuff, Daniel? What do you What are you remembering? How much are you? Are you playing by memory, and how much are you rediscovering because you forgot? So, so that's the thing. The navigation is so crappy. That even if I remember what I need to do, I still need to find it in 2023. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a good thing you're doing the navigating. I know. I'm not. I'm, I'm not missing it. Okay, we have a, a lightning bolt over here. Let's, Let's use that. zap that door. Let's do it. Well, what does that do? That just opened the do door to a view. Okay, now we're outside. Hmm. Ooh. Wait, there's a door. Oh. It's the same door, right? Okay, let's look at the... Oh my gosh. Zero, 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 zero. There's nothing you can do. Strange. Some of the things they allow us to do... It, there's, Let me know if you oh, see oh, anything. How did that Ooh. happen? Where did she come from? She She's over from. here. How come we didn't hear her talk? She was hiding, just like, like all the other characters. Well, let's show her the books. Mm. I'm not having much luck over here so far. After this oh. game, she quit the industry. She did? did she? Yeah. she was good. I thought she was really good. Okay, sh should we talk to her? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay, we, we can talk to her about the white shadows. 
about the lead sphere. Oh, the lead sphere is what we found in that crate last week. Oh, that's it. Yeah. And Let's... the payroll log. Ooh, now we know what the, the notebook is. Well, there's that. And then there's the, the, evidence, the book that we found that's in the evidence. We can't ask her about that. Okay, so ask her about everything? Yeah, let's ask her everything. Come with me. I want to show you something. No, at least they're walking there. And then they didn't expect me to take her over there because I have no I idea. These outlines here on the side of the cabin? Yeah, it's kind of frightening, isn't it? What causes it? I have no idea. It reminds me of pictures I've seen of Hiroshima. How's that? Well, the blast from the bomb left the outline of people behind. I don't know why. I can barely remember it. I was only a kid when I saw the picture. Jesus, scared the bejesus out of me. All right, it's a little creepy. There's some creepy good mm -hmm. factor going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. now I have to go back there. Find her? To 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 come, yeah, come back here. Come back here. That's the Dorian. Where you where'd you go? We were I wasn't done talking to you. <laughs> oh man. Where is she? That's the Dorian. This She's an like alien. She the was most, able to just disappear. This is like the most down. expensive hide and seek game ever pr produced. <laughs> where yeah. is she? She was right there. I mean that's just she just walked away. We were talking right in the middle of talking. No, she didn't just walk away. She disappeared, Tori. She just dis <laughs> there's something wrong with that woman. There, there is. I think she. You know, I yeah. should do it in real life, just in the middle of conversation. Just leave. Yeah. <laughs> Go somewhere else. Get in my car and drive. Oh man. <laughs> uh, that da it. that Daniel can't find her. That that. Uh, tells us I'm, I'm something. clicking, go to the wheelhouse. Yeah, I'm going to the wheelhouse. I bet the previous investigation was less than thorough. We should go over this thing with a fine-tooth comb. Sounds good. Who's got a comb? We got a comb okay. in our, our kit. Payroll lock. I think we saved the sphere for last. Okay. This looks interesting. Looks like Cyrillic. Seattle PD has a task force investigating smuggling out of the former Soviet Union. They've got a full-time translator over there. I can get a translator. Oh, she she's doesn't got, know she's Russian. Doing that, she's doing that fast patter, too. She's yeah, got yeah. that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm assuming you'll share. Or do you mind if I have the bureau handle it? Mm. Gosh. I think he, he kind of likes her, so maybe he should ask her if the second one. Okay. okay. All right, let's do that. That's fine. I'm assuming you'll share. Of course I'll share. Neither go. They're a little, little, there we go. Now there's well, that was easy. On. I thought certainly you would give me grief about that. No, if Seattle PD has the resources, let's take advantage of them. Well, that's a commendable attitude. Well, you know what they say about catching flies. Well, well, we've got There's some a lot stuff of flirting going. happening. Yeah. Wow. Get a get a <laughs> ship. I was going to say get a ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, now let's see what she's looking at. Oh yeah. Oh, it is it stars. Oh, oh Russian it's, stars. It's, no, I think it's fingerprints. Fingerprints. Dust them. Dust them, Dano. This looks like it's already been dusted for print. Oh, yeah, so it has. Probably from the first investigation into the fire. Hey, this is strange. It looks like there's a fresh set of prints over the top of the old ones. Yeah, somebody's put their hand on this after it's already been dusted. Either that's pretty sloppy police work or somebody else has been here. It's probably us. Well, we better have them lifted. Well, Thomas get, Nelson just wrote, can't kit. believe that this game... Development took four years and six million dollars for this one. Wow. You know, I read that yeah, six million. Well, Phantasmagoria 2 was four and a half million, and Phantasmagoria one was I think, I think it was three million for the production and one and a half million for the First creation. For Tory salary. Yeah, for Tory salary. Oh, yeah, that's how much I made. And and one one and a half million for Creating the studio, the studio that you've filmed Phantasmagoria in was built 
especially for Phantasmagoria. And then Gabriel Knight 2 used that. And then they didn't use that for Phantasmagoria 2 because they actually used sets. Maybe they used wait, it for the, the final part. Oakhurst? Yep. Uh, wait, G Gabriel Knight was filmed there? Yeah, Gabriel Knight 2 was filmed in the same studio you guys filmed oh. Phantasmagoria 1. Okay, I didn't know that. Now um, you do. Now I do. Anyway, they yeah. uh, I read a recent interview with the developers of, of this game, and they mm -hmm. said apparently that they got bad reviews for the puzzle with the password, with Shiloh. They said that the, people complained that it doesn't make sense that the character doesn't know the password and had to find out by looking at the bulletin board that had Shiloh written over it. And come to think of it, it's the same puzzle as in Phantasmagoria 2 with Blob. That's the one part I absolutely connected with the most. How many times I have to look on my you know, my uh, sticky notes for the most recent password I, I created and forgot about. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why that would... I don't know. I'm surprised that bothers people. But apparently if you click the O in the welcome to the FBI... If you click the O, then you can skip the password. Yeah. Ah. We'll do that next time instead of writing yeah, Shiloh. Sounds good. Let's do okay. All right. So anyway, can ask her some more questions. Oh, oh we got time. Can, can, can we also we can can we use our um, evidence kit to dust to get that print up? To dust again? Yeah, the new print. No, but the print has been dusted. No, but he just. She ju he just said we're gonna have to lift that new print. Okay. Did he say that? Yeah, he did say that. Okay, let's see if I have something um, over here. Binoculars. You have the the print lifting mechanism. I have the evidence kit, yeah. but I can't use it on that. You can't use it. Okay. Well, I can't help but feel like we've missed something. Yeah, we have. Can you tell us what it is? Uh, yeah. Show her the show her the thing. Show her the the orb. I don't want that. Okay. Show the orb. The orb? Oh, but we talked yeah. about the orb, didn't we? Really? No. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, be careful with it. Relax. It looks like an explosive device. Well, it could be. It's certainly heavy enough. Maybe we should call in a hazmat team. Yeah, I think so. Let's not overreact, okay? What the hell are you doing? You really need to cut down to one cup a day. It's empty. What is it? I don't know. But I do know one very happy lab technician. Wait, oh, this thing the... has been in his pocket all this time? Because I yeah, really thought it was a small... <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That was the most animated. They were, they were both... They were both yeah. really yeah, that was good. Good. It seems right. like Mary Estadorian came to the set and told them, you know, guys, look alive. Yeah, look have, alive. Some fun with this. have some fun with this game. Okay, now the the game is um, hinting Telling us to talk to that him. we Let's should talk it. to Amis. Right. Talk to him. You just click on that and then we talk to him. John, it's Craig. I need a set of prints lifted. Ooh, field work, my favorite. Where? Candid impound dock. The boat's called the Terracon. These are prints that were laid on top of a previously dusted set. I love a challenge. Flag the spot for me. I'll take care of it. Hey, Detective. Oh. Truett from the coroner's office just called. They've completed the autopsy on Mr. Wong. She's found something you ought to see. That was fast. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to well, the... Well, looks like we're headed to the coroner's. I can hardly wait. Neither can we. I still feel like we've missed something. She said that earlier. So what are we missing here? Maybe. Yeah, it's weird that we we had to get that the other guy has to lift the prints and why we couldn't just do it with our evidence kit. That's weird. Because we're incompetent. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. All right, let's just go to the coroner's office. I think you can just, can't you just use your, can you just use the little GPS device? Okay. 
Okay, let's see if we have the coroner over here. Oh, yeah. we have a new location. It's so we room. have the crime lab. Next to the crime lab, we have the coroner's yeah. office. Go. Oh. Okay. What do we got? Do I know this guy? This is Agent oh. Wilmo with the FBI. He questioned Wong yesterday. I hope you found out everything you needed to know. What have you got? This is undoubtedly one of the most unusual autopsies I've ever performed. This man undoubtedly. died from a single gunshot wound to the back of the head. Large caliber weapon, point blank range. He was also a drug user. It looks like he was high at the time of death. That would account for the lack of struggle. But if the slug or the drugs didn't kill him, this man would have been dead within a matter of weeks anyway. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Why? He was completely riddled with massive tumors. I've never seen anything like it. What would cause something like that? I have no idea. But Feelings. I've never seen a human being so eaten alive with cancer. <sighs> God, Feelings I hate cancer. coming here. You know, so do I. Aw. You don't like your job? All right, all right. Well, now what? Let's talk to the dead guy. Ooh, Why is locked. he moving? You moved. What? Oh, look moved. at that. They have mo you can see all the... Uh, he did move. You can see all the stitches. Ooh. To go back to him. I want to see him move again. That was weird. <laughs> do that again. Oh, he didn't do it this time. But he did move before. But that we was all so saw it. Did everybody see it in the... Did you all see it in the chat? <laughs> That was so crazy. This was like a live photo on the iPhone that you take a photo and you have. Yeah, exactly. Like a of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You still see the couple seconds before. Wow. He was still settling in. All right. Let's talk to her some more. Take a picture of him. I have to take a picture of him. Maybe I'll activate the live photo feature. Yeah, there you go. Smile. All right. Let me see those scars. All right. Good. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's ask her some more questions. Okay. What kind of cancer? What kind of cancer was it? She's not going to know. Well, here's the weird thing. You see, these these are three separate kinds of cancer. It wouldn't surprise <laughs> what? me if he had a few more. It's as if his entire endocrine and immune system suddenly went haywire. Is there a name for this? Bizarre. No, mm -hmm. I mean, is there a syndrome or something that explains it? No, not that I've ever heard of. Well, so there's a weird kind of radiation because of those imprints, you know, the... She was talking about Hiroshima? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, how do you know he was high? We gotta ask all these questions. We gotta be how thorough, you, know you guys. Well, it's mainly a hunch. Little things, uh, state of craniovascular relaxation, total dilation of the pupils, things like that. I've seen it before, but the blood work will confirm it. Oh, let's look at the, hey, the, the little, is that always bad, that little picture at the Could bottom telling us what to do next? I have no idea. This isn't exactly my field, first of all, but I can't imagine what would trigger something like this. Some kind of massive carcinogenic exposure, I guess. Radioactive materials, certain classes of powerful mutagenic chemicals. Those are the only things that track with what I know. See, this is how long had he been ill? How, yeah. How long had he been ill? Tumors are highly unpredictable. A growth of this size would seemingly take a fair amount of time, but he would have been in immense pain. Which might explain the illicit drug use. Even with the drugs, a condition like this would be almost impossible to ignore. And the amount of drugs he'd have to take to ease the pain would make him a near zombie. Strange. The ha hamstray in the chat said it was all the cancers. That would have been hilarious if they said, what kind of cancer was it? It was all of them. <laughs> Every single cancer he had them all. <laughs> and they were fighting each other. That's what kept him alive. <laughs> have you seen anything? Didn't he say, have you seen anything like this before? And she have said, you seen anything else like this recently? No, thank God. All right, another wasted question. Is, is that, that the slug? Is that the slug? Yes, it is. I'd like to have it analyzed. That'd be all right, I suppose. I'd like to use it as a paperweight. Um, okay, let's... Wait, we can ask her about the ship, and we can ask her about oh, Wong's, Wong's drugs. drugs. 
Yeah, but there was also a picture of the cancer down below earlier, so we need to go look at the cancer. But we might as well ask about the ship and the drugs first. No, the the things at the bottom right is the um, the AI helper, which tells you what to do next instead you're in, in case you're stuck. So okay, oh, I like it. I want that with me always in my daily life. How long have you been taking drug? Well, it's hard to say. Organ tissue and blood samples may provide some evidence, but it still could be hard to determine. The evidence of massive tumors suggests that the subject was suffering severe pain, and the drugs could have been used to mitigate the pain. That's why he was so grumpy when we talked to him. He was probably a really nice guy. Just He was in pain. He was in pain. How long have you been taking drugs? all the cancers. Well, it's hard to say. Organ right, tissue and blood samples may provide some evidence, but it still could be hard to determine. The evidence of massive tumors suggests that the subject was suffering severe pain, and the drugs could have been used to mitigate the pain. We just heard that. Stop. There was a case a couple of months ago, a fire at sea. The, the Terracan, sure. I remember it. You're the second FBI agent to ask me about that this week. Ooh. She went to the I'm going to talk really fast school of acting that was yeah. part of the X-Files sort about? of... Wait, well, actually, wait. to be specific, you're the third FBI agent. There were a pair here the other day, a man and a woman. Mulder and Scully. Mulder and Scully. They had wait, the bodies of the Terracan crew members exhumed. She insisted on performing a second autopsy. What? Wow. Oh, this is huge. I'm at the edge of my seat. So, who could it be? Because I'm, I'm not sitting correctly, sorry. Okay, <laughs> now no, I'm fine. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> What were their names? Sorry, I'll have to look that up. I see a lot of names. It was Mulder and Scully, wasn't it? Come on. Yes. Diana Scully and Wolf oh. Mulder, that's right. Wolf Dana Mulder. Scully and Fox Mulder. What did she find? I have no idea. The bodies are still here if you want to see them. What were the results Mulder of Mulder and Scully's ones? bodies? They died of severe burns. We want to see them. Yeah. Oh. Let's see yeah. some severely burned bodies. You're not squeamish, I hope. No, we played Phantasmagoria. They used the same take from, from before of her yeah. saying, God, I hate it. Fair warning, <laughs> this is going to be pretty bad. These guys had been interred for two months. Is she talking about the game? You all right? Just peachy, <laughs> thanks. Can we get this over with, please? Sure. Oh, There's oh, nothing in the fridge. Someone took the yogurts. I think someone's stolen the bodies from the Terracan. You two stay Whoa. here. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll let you know if I find anything. Now she's going to run like hell. This is huge. <laughs> okay. So, what are you doing later tonight? What the hell have we stumbled onto here? I don't know, but I was wondering if maybe we could get a candlelight dinner or something. <laughs> what the hell have I stumbled onto here? A long conversation, apparently. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. Doesn't he need to explain to her that those two FBI agents are missing currently? So, it does, we have two choices. The first two choices is A, mansplaining. Or B, letting letting her decide to, giving her a chance to to talk. I okay. think we don't have a choice. I think we have to mansplain right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Well, um. Oh my God. What is it? I think I know what's going on here. Oh Jesus! I hope I'm not. Huh. He didn't even what? tell us theories, but I still have a theory. They're what about my theory? Something. They're smugglers. Wong worked for the same people as the crew of the Terracon. That would explain the slicker and the lack of fishing equipment. Well, that was so part of my theory. The Why aren't you letting me you say my theory? You Wong. He was killed because they thought he talked. Your two missing agents have the crew from the Terracon exhumed, and both they and the corpses turn up missing? We've yeah, okay, that wasn't part of my theory. Ring bringing either radioactive material or possibly chemical weapons into the U.S. from the former Soviet Union. Yeah, her that theory is way better than this. That explains the fire this. on the Terracon, Wong's cancer, why he was killed, and what happened to your two missing agents. They How did she know close. about the missing agents? This is huge. Someone's covering is the game over? And they're not afraid to shoot FBI agents to do it. You and I have to work together. 
much we as we don't to want to, this. as much I as there's no chemistry between us. Might die. I'm going to have to demand that we cooperate fully with one another. Okay. You just got yourself a new partner. Whoa. That just happened quick. That's, okay. That turned but into a buddy it. comedy. But I don't remember him telling her that he was looking for a missing agents. So maybe he did in the beginning. Did he? I think so. I think he did. Yeah, he did. but now she connected the missing agents to the missing bodies, and she just I, blew this case wide open. I <laughs> love that he said he had a theory, and she just did. Took she over. just did not took over. That was great. That was good. Maybe they forgot to film it, so they <laughs> scared to film it. Okay, yeah. now what? Can she uh, lead the way? Given that. We want to look at the cancers. Do we have to look at the cancers? Okay, let's look at the cancers. Where are the cancers, Bob? Why does it say closed Ooh. tightly? Shouldn't it say closed tightly? Go back into the... the <laughs> yeah, top. what's up with the typo? It says closed. What does it say? Oh, it says be closed. sure. Be sure refrigeration closed. doors are okay. closed okay. tight. Uh, all right, we can. All right, you okay. win this. You win this round, next. You win this grammar. Okay, yeah. Let's go back in there. Let's go check some cancer. Let's look at all the cancers. There we go. Boom. Wow. That looks like a tarragon steak. That looks like a Ooh. enchilada. That looks like a little bit of. Okay. Like a little salsa verde. Uh, that's it. There's nothing to see there. That's it. I can't pick yeah, anything up. Yeah. All right. Um, well, let we're stuck with a partner now. So let's see what. Do you hmm. wanna... <clears throat> I'm telling you, this is the most expensive game of hide and seek ever produced. Look at that. Oh. I'm just I've just entered the room and I look to the left and she's just standing there, like so. Who's... Let's talk to her. Okay. Great idea. We can't. Okay. Let's go to the, should we go back to the lab, perhaps? Yeah, let's find out what he found, if he found the prints yet. Or we can call, maybe can we call him? Do we have to go there? Mm. Uh, I guess we could call. You want me to so call close. him? Yeah, give him a ring. Give him a ring. There it is. No. Here we go, Johnny Miss. You have reached CCOM voicemail services. Voicemail for John Amos is unavailable right. at this time. Please try again fine. later. Kahuna writes, some friends yeah. recommended this channel and I want to say thank you for your Let's Plays. They're a gem. Hey. Thank you for joining. Kahuna Drake, thank you for joining. Appreciate that. And your friends have great taste. I, I mm -hmm. highly approve. They can stay your friends. Yeah, I'm okay. sure someone didn't make sure they were closed tightly. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Somebody. <laughs> okay, should we drive somewhere? Go to the crime lab. We do. We we thought we could we could call, but I guess we actually have to drive there. Boom. There he is. Did he go and come back? Hey, Mr. Wilmore. Good to see you. Oh, what happened? We lost his... He had a good line coming up. All right. Okay, we ha We can ask him about... Wait, what's that? Gloria. We can ask him about the fingerprints. Yeah, or sure. heard from Gloria. Or when are you going to pay me that dollar? Man. Who's He's Gloria? obsessed about that dollar. Dollar. Oh, Gloria's my wife, right? Let's find out. Yeah, I want to find out how Gloria's doing because he's got a potential new girlfriend. So let's see what's going on here. You heard from Gloria? Nope, she's still at her mom's. Hmm. Is Gloria our wife? Maybe it's his wife. His wife, oh. probably. What do you? Uh, that's fine. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's find out what. Let's have. Hey, when are you gonna pay me that dollar? Did you know that I grew up in Cleveland? No, oh, Cleveland, really? Yes. And as a child, I've always regarded it as hell. Do you have any idea how cold it is in Cleveland? Cold. Very cold. It is very cold in Cleveland today. But not cold enough. 
this had, what does that have to do with the dollar? What I was waiting for, I was that? waiting for it to turn around and go, that's yeah. why I'm not giving you the dollar. That was a, cold, a cold day in hell kind of thing. That yeah. The day I, that's it. I, the, yeah. The day I, I guess- yeah. It's a cold the day I give you the dollar, it's a cold day in Cleveland. I mean, they film these scenes, but if I ask the detective, do you know what's going on? No, that's it. No. End of scene. <laughs> what's, what's he working on? Looks like he's working on a comic book. You working here. on anything good? Yes, actually, uh, an art theft. Very cool stuff. Mom's the word. Ah, so the comic book is research. Ha <laughs> ha! Good stuff. All right, let's find out about fingerprints. Did you get those prints lifted? I just fetched them, Miss Daisy. I still need to process them. And they say sugar has no effect on children. Oh, my goodness. That's it? That's all we get? Well. Um, Okay. Now, the, the game, the reason why the game places certain objects in the evidence kit and not in the inventory is Mm -hmm. in order for us to know that we need to give them as evidence. We're going to give them the cancer. Give them all the cancer. <laughs> What's that? What is that? What is that? What is it? It's, it's, a, a, it's, it's the slug. It's the slug. Why oh. is it a slug? Why, why, is, why is it not just the slug and it's in a... Is it nope. in a... It's the slug. Eating heart? No, oh, it's, it's the slug. slug you know. oh, okay. You look okay, at but, it from the back. Can, can we not give it to him? You're saying we can't give it to him? No, we can give it to him. We can, okay. and we Let's should. do it, and we will. Let's... Give him the camera. You don't know how to do any... You don't know how to do this stuff. There you go. Give him the whole thing. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, it's fun to watch Daniel struggle with control. <laughs> Never mind. See, everybody's going to give. Yeah, you have to give it. There's, we got to give it to them. It's got to be a way. Um, can you make those things go up to the top left and then give them to them? No. There, how do you, they're supposed how do you make to them? be used from the inventory. Never mind. Let's keep playing. But we're but supposed to we, give them to them. Sl- we took the slug so we could do something with it. Yeah, so to give it to him. Done. We have to be able to. We are not leaving here until we figure out how to if give them. If we can't the, give it to him, where else would we be able to? Who else could we give it to? Yeah, can you just pull? Yeah, just drag it slowly. No, it's not gonna let you do that, huh? This is. I think this is a glitch in the game. But maybe there's some other place. Can you like right take click. Hmm. Wait. What else do, do we have in our inventory? Nothing. Do we have something that can allow us to pick the thing up and give it to him? Do we have tweezers? No. I'm sure we're supposed to give this to that guy. So I think this, there's something wrong here. Something horribly wrong. I'm feeling, I got a bad feeling in my gut about this. Well, maybe there's a step or some other place we take it to. Maybe we need to collect more things before we give him. Maybe. Okay. Chandler says, Daniel is cool. He hung out in my Monkey Island stream for a while. Nice setup here. Thanks for joining up, Chandler? Chandler. Yeah, thanks for joining Chandler. Daniel, I, I cool is a word that I would I not describe I... you, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, like 50 other words. Have, have you heard Daniel talk ad nauseum about the dig or Phantasmagoria 2 yet, Daniel or Chandler? Okay. I'm I'm um, enchanting when I talk about fantasy. Yes, you are. So we're going home. Why are we going home? Daniel seems to have a reason for us to go home. Yeah, Daniel's. All right, and we're gonna we have to trust him. He's got a hunch. To go to he's got a hunch, or he's done a little bit of pre. <laughs> I think he he knows something we don't know. Maybe we need to get to day three. Maybe we need to take an... I think Daniel has the, the hint book up on his computer. Oh, he does. That's what it is. How do we... Oh, we hit the O? Let's hit the O. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of O's. There's two O's. First O. <laughs> Looks like you're pretty invested in this game, Paul. Oh, this game is a thrill a minute, man. I'm telling you. Can't Shiloh. 
<laughs> it took long. <laughs> it took longer to write it than to look around for. Okay. All right. Hey, anyway, it's the first time on this computer, right? We yep. weren't able to get up here before. Yeah, but it's the same. It's the same thing. There's nothing here. Hmm. Maybe we gotta go to the field office. Kind maybe of maybe the email is on our <laughs> our our, our office eye, computer. We can look at that book that was by the the Which eye book? showed up. I don't know when you right there. Marching, Marching through, through Georgia. Georgia. Why? Why? What a, what a snooze fest. But what's the point of being able to look at things if they don't mean something? I this game that. needs to explain why it's so boring. So it's showing you that the <laughs> lead character, lead actor, and the main character are both boring. A separate being and as one. Okay, let's... Something needs to happen in this game, eventually. But you know what's crazy is that we haven't questioned once whether we should go back to it. We just keep coming back to this game, even though nothing happens. But for some reason, like we, yeah, we but we, punted, we're we super invested on other in games, and for some reason, we're actually in this one. Yeah, yeah. Why are we sticking with this one <laughs> and not, you know, what's the what's the one the the um, contradiction? Yeah, we, we, we punted on contradiction, partly because my computer wasn't handling it. Oh, that's right, that's right. So now, since I'm streaming, my computer can handle it, so let's go, go back, back to it. Okay, where should we go? Cry, uh, back to work. Back to work. <laughs> back to work, yeah. yeah, that sounds good. Field office. Field office. <laughs> All right, we got a little open. Daniel, yeah. Oh, a dead guy. Uh, what? <gasps> what was that? Happened. Oh, snap. This is huge. Look down. What are you doing? <laughs> look <laughs> down. I go. I can't look down. Go away. Run away and then come back. He's gone. Wait, oh, there he's there... back again. I mean, zap him. When I'm you, know, sending... you, can use, you can use that uh, electricity to oh, zap him back to life. Yeah. It's a defibrillator. Yeah. Hello, you awake? What's going on? Oh. You get smacked in the head. Did you, get the, did you get the number of that bus? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna live, unfortunately. What bus? Uncle Shanks gets a hold of me. Oh. Well, we better see if anything's missing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, there's no, there's no question about what happened. There's no, I guess. So he got beat up, and somebody stole stuff. It's like this. It's routine, you know. Yeah, and and, so and Craig didn't again this time. Uh, and you guys say that this game doesn't have action. I mean, come on. This is this is. I'm my my heart's beating like a rabbit. No, you, no. This is. This is <laughs> you'd think that Craig would show more emotion. Given that his partner heart's beating like a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, let's ask him some questions. Oh no, we can't <laughs> go away. Come back. He's we gone again. Be. He's gone. He's we back. Take... <laughs> we can't ask we... him a question. You're just gonna leave him there. Yeah. Okay, let's go to his office. Maybe we'll find clues. Okay. We have oh, tape. They, they didn't steal the tape. That's good. That's important. These have... Because that way he can put it back on his nose. That was another thrilling moment. All right, what's there? Oh, all of his beer steins and oh, okay. shot glasses are there. He's a drinker. He's a drinker. Maybe By the way, you just, you, maybe you just know, went on a little bender. If you're looking for some action, you know, we can use the gun on ourselves. We can? Yeah, and then he'll write a suicide note and the game will be over. And I'm not even you're... kidding. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Let's do it. 
That's a weird thing to put in a game. Now, the, the ability to kill yourself in a game is, is a possibility in most games in really? which you can die. You know, even in Phantasmagoria, I can choose to, to die by not doing anything. But the fact oh, that you yeah. can actively kill yourself with a you gun. You can have Wilmar <laughs> just grab his own gun and shoot himself. Yeah. And he's going to write a suicide note and do it, and then the game is over. Mm -hmm. Let's and, do it. I want, and, we have to do it. We have to this, do it. This will be a great out for this game. We can say, Here, save, hey, we save thought it that the game is over. <laughs> save it right now, and let's kill ourselves. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. All right. Yes. Oh my gosh! This is this is. I'm I'm actually kind of excited about this moment here. Finally, something to be excited about. Well, yeah, I, I'm not excited about anybody killing themselves, but just in terms of the game itself, this is. I presume that we can kill ourselves in our apartment because that's the only place where we can see ourselves. It's kind Wait, of you have to do it. You have to do it while you're looking at yourself. Yeah. How am I going to use the gun on myself? Uh, we absolutely have to have a uh, as many. We have to have a montage of actors in FMV games opening doors and walking through them. We, that would probably make. I bet we would get a hundred views of that alone. We're saying a hundred as if it's a lot. I, exactly. That's my. That's a joke. Okay. That was my joke. All right. Gun. Oh my gosh! Really? Is that a mirror? Is that supposed to be him in the mirror? Yeah, it's supposed to be yeah. a mirror. It's. Hey, we can't kill ourselves. Wait, why can't I? What? Have you ever done this before? Have you actually? Here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? Oh, I shut the mirror. I didn't shoot myself. doesn't make any sense. So There's, it makes no sense. No, it doesn't he, make any sense. He shot a mirror and now he's going to jail for it. Or he shot himself and he's going to jail for it. Either way, it makes no I sense. I know you're trying to do something quirky that gamers can discover, but it needs to make some have some kind of logic. But you know, we can shoot the other. You know, we can shoot other characters. Oh, but but then we'll probably go to jail as well. Yeah, we'll go to jail every time. So we, no matter who we kill, so it's not that we're going to write a suicide note. We're going to go to jail for killing people. That's kind of. I think you missed. No, you can kill yourself. You can't kill your mirror though. But then, it, why would he go to like? He didn't kill himself because he didn't go to jail. He went to jail. That doesn't make sense. He shot the mirror. I think that was the he problem. Didn't, he didn't write a note. All right, let's go back to let's let's go back to solving crimes. Not the best Easter egg. All right, so should we go into our? I'm office? clicking the AI assistant. Right, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Search, Search field office. office. Okay. Field office. Oh, the cabinet. He wants us to look in the. Cabinet. Shoot yourself in the back of the head. Hey, got ourselves a car. Oh, his laptop is missing. Oh. oh. That's your phone. I'll just sit here recovering. Don't worry. Blood just coming out of my ear. I'll just hang out. No, don't need any medical assistance. I'll oh, answer. My, you just, you go answer your phone. Is this uh, Agent Wilmore? Yes. Agent Wilmore, this is Agent Pendrel of the Psy Crime Lab in D.C. Uh, I completed the preliminary analysis of the blood sample from your office. <sighs> I'm afraid I got some bad news. It looks like that blood belongs to Agent Scully. Oh, Jesus. Are you certain? Fairly. I mean, a more detailed analysis will confirm it, but I'm pretty sure that's Scully's blood. So at the very least, we know she's been injured. Um, was there much blood at the scene? Yeah, a fair amount. Let's hope it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, yeah okay. Good. Thanks for the call. Sure. If uh, anything changes, I'll let you know. Sure. No problem. Oh, Agent no problem. Yeah. Keep me informed, okay? All right. Thanks. 
I just said I'd let you know. He just said, I'll let you know. And then he More stopped. He said, hey, by Jeff the way. Fisherman you interviewed yesterday, he's just been shot to death. I know. We know that. I was just at the crime scene. <laughs> Finally, we're going to ask him. That's... Okay, so, so that guy... What happened to you? Oh. I came in early to catch up on your work, and someone jumped me. Why are you here to work? catch up on my work? No... Like, Sir Tori, what was your question? Um, my you question. Forgot. You forgot already. <laughs> you, were, you had a moment. You were like, ah, you had, you were ready to jump in, and then. Mm, damn it! Oh, it'll damn come it. back. But... Okay. Why did they only take Scully's laptop? You got me. Shanks is going to be furious. And not to mention Skinner. Partner's always the guilty well, one, right? There's something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. First, they disappear. Do you, you shoot him? No, you I'll shoot him? myself. I don't know. <laughs> Suicide anyway, note. I can't go on. I ought to begin again, but it is easier to stop. This is my choice, my decision. I go violently into that good night. I love you all, Craig. And mm -hmm. a coffee cup stain. Wow, that's that's really something else. Yeah, that's uh that's okay, so game over, guys. That's a bizarre thing to think of and to add. Yeah, it really is. I don't think I like And that, that you can actually kill other people too and then go to jail. You can just be a, you're, you're a, oh boy, all right. Yeah, it's disturbing. That's your phone. <laughs> your phone. Thing? Oh, we're going to hear the call again. No, we're going to skip it. Okay. Okay, th that's what I was going to say. The guy who called, I, he kind of had a little crack in his voice, and he was all sad about Scully. I know. And this guy I was, was being so cold. Scene. So? I did you see who hit you? Why did How they do you... only take Scully's laptop? You got me. Shanks is going to be furious. Yeah, he's creepy. Not to mention Skinner. Oh, now there's something to look forward to. First they disappear, then we lose his prize agent's confidential records. I don't know what you're involved in, but someone's got some big brass ones in order to steal equipment from an FBI field office. How, How do you know, know I questioned Wong Yu? Mm -hmm. How did you know about Wong? What? How did you know I went to see Wong yesterday? You told me. Hey, I was the one hit on the head, remember? Hmm. Mm-mm. No. <clears throat> did you see who hit you? Nope. Whoever did it was real quiet. You did it to yourself. Let's start the game at the beginning and see wait, if we act. Wait, 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 wait. We have two options. We can tell him I told you about Wong. I just forgot, I guess. Oh, no, or let's... I didn't tell you about Wong. I didn't tell you yeah, about Wong. I'm with Tori on this one. Let's be let's be I certain. didn't tell you about Wong. Oh. Well, I guess Skinner must have mentioned it. Guilty. Guilty, dude. Guilty. Guilty, creepy partner. Can we look in his office and see if the laptop is in there? What if we... Can, I think maybe we can... We might have to shoot him later, so let's just keep that in mind. Okay. Let's save our bullets for something else. Uh, uh, okay. Now what? Good question. Go to the apartment and take a nap? Yeah, I completely forgot we even had a gun. But obviously, um, <laughs> <FBI agent. laughs> Um. Well, how do we know when it's time to can go to Can you check our computer and see if... If there's any results? Why did you go to our apartment and look on our computer, Daniel? You knew something that we didn't. What, do you, what, are, we, what are we looking for? We're we're supposed to get a, a voice message, but we probably didn't trigger something. A voice message on our computer? No. Next to our computer. Oh. On the phone. And it would be at the home. On the home phone, you mean? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see if we have any emails. Nothing new. Okay. 
还是更好。So maybe what maybe this what we did will will maybe now our home our message will be there because we went to the field office. <clears throat> we should go to knock on the next door and see if Curtis is home. <laughs> By the way, I looked it up. Um, oh, when Craig Wilmore was mentioned in the series itself, and in season three, there's a couple of guys playing basketball, and some kids talking over there and saying, "Hey, that's Craig Wilmore," and that's it. They don't show his face, and that's the only reference in the series to this stupid agent. Oh, he's okay. Before the game was made, you mean? Yeah. That, that was... Hmm. <clears throat> okay. I open, Where... the com- open the computer again. Wait. I... Why can't I click the stupid phone? Yeah, do the computer first. I'll do the computer in a second. I have... Yeah. Oh. Hey, another gun. That's a... That's a... Cap gun. That's like a totally kid's cap gun. Yeah, it looks like a it. little fake... A little fakey... Oh, because he he, he reenacts. He's a reenactor. Oh yeah. He's a reenactor. War uh, war reenactor. Our, like our, uh, war reenactments. Greg uh, Wilmore is. Yeah. He said that earlier. No, but with the Shiloh thing, it's all from war I reenactments. Like that was a year ago yeah. that we saw that. Hey, those are Daniel's great photos. Nice job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Check your email. We already checked it. You checked it the first time. It might be different now because we went away and came back. No, I don't know we, what else to do. We just checked it in the office. Check it again. Do me a favor. Okay. Nothing. See, I was wrong. <laughs> well, what are we supposed to do? Hey, so why can't we go to sleep? When is the day over? <laughs> do we know? How do we know when the day is over? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I'm with Tori. <laughs> what are those uh, files on the couch? Do we need to look at them? Are those? Is that? Oh, that's the divorce. Is that the divorce? Oh no, that's his. That's his story. Yeah, that's his stupid book. Oh. I can read late. But unlike his book, yours isn't stupid. Um <laughs> thank you. Where where are we gonna go now? What about um should we should we look things up? Like we have a whole bunch of evidence. Can we go on to our computer and look up, you know, the boat and uh the logs and the stuff? Wait, where's the Estadorian? Yeah, where's my partner? She she was like so wanting to be our partner, and now Let's she just her. disappeared again. Let's call is she, her. Is she in the coroner's office? My, Are you still there? Hmm. Oh, what's over here? What's all this then? I love the fact that you click the eye and then you get a close-up of something, but we're not close enough to read it. It's just closer. And that's it. Uh, what's that? Again, use this information that we can read due to the low resolution of the game. Can we can we call? Try calling her? What's her number? Well, Maybe we have it on, our, on your on your phone. Maybe five, we five, have five. it. Wait, let me catch my mouse. Five 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 Estadorian. Mm. John Amis, Barbara Wilmore. Computer crimes, Mark Cook. No. Mm. We didn't ask her for her number. Why do we call Shanks? 
Oh, wait, let's go. You know what? Let's actually go and talk to Shanks. He's always helping us with the investigation. Yeah. He's telling us. Yeah. You're doing fine. Field office. Hey, Schwex, would you like to play with us X-Files? Yeah. It's the I most bet you he doesn't. <laughs> I bet you he's got something else in mind. Where is, oh. where is that guy? Oh, he's in the end. At the end. Right, left. Oh, there. okay. He's pissed. I could use some help with this case. Okay, let me review your notes. You need to take your evidence to the crime lab for processing. The rest of it looks pretty good. Oh, that's the guy. We always have to go to him. All right, so well, didn't we do that already, though? Maybe that's why we couldn't give it to him. We have to go to him first. <sighs> no, that's stupid, but maybe that's, that's what we had to do. Yeah. Shrek says, I'm not good with normal adventure games. Well, as you can see, <laughs> neither are we. <laughs> okay, let me try to give. Why isn't this working? Nothing's. Your tax dollars at work. Hey, do the words lunch hour mean anything to you? You're in a mood today. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, here they are. Finally. Finally. Uh, Tori was right. We no, had to go we, talk to the guy. Yeah, but we didn't have these options before. Remember, we talked to him. But this this is such a strange UI. You have things up yeah. top. You have things uh, dialogue options. You have things at the bottom. Nothing makes sense anymore. Mm -mm. I guess we had to talk you to know, him before we could do this. What is this? A bomb? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. But I do need you to tell me just what the hell it is. Your wish is my command. They're all handling it very carefully. Yeah. Not to blow anything. Ah, anything up. another hunk of lead. I love bullets. Simple, tough, silent. Kind of like you there, Wilmore. Yet in the right hand, they speak volumes. No, that's not a good one. I should match this against the last one. Astute as always. I shall make it so. Yeah, you did another little Sean Connery for us. Okay. Okay, so we got that done. <clears throat> Is there okay. any other evidence? Oh. What? But what happened with the fingerprints? Did he, I forget, we, did we give those to him? We're waiting for him to process them. Okay. Okay. But where's the we... Dorian? Yeah, we need to uh, down by the docks. Should we go back to go the back dock? to the Terracan? The Terra ter Oh yeah, the Terracan. Let's go to the Terracan. Maybe we missed something here. Maybe she's there. I can't believe they tore down the warehouse. I know. I was I know. so looking forward to visit it. I was gonna go visit this weekend. Yeah, it's you know, it's not far. All of these locations, you should take. <clears throat> you should take your phone, go visit these filming locations, and post them on our Discord channel. Oh man, that would be. That would make people so happy. All right, she's not here. Give us a give us a hint. Find the hit the hint thing. The hint thing doesn't work. What? There are no hints. We can't talk the to moment. the guy and we can't hit the little hint it's button. It's not blue mm. right now. No. It has to be glowing, right? Yep. Wow. All right. You know, I think what's important here is that it has been so fast paced that I think it's what's important, important here is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> yeah. That well, it's just a chance for us to relax, just to catch our breath from all mm. that's been happening so far. 
because I do feel like uh, you know we've we've it's it's been a whirlwind. Mm. Mm-hmm. It has been. Yes, ducks. How about go to the warehouse? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Hmm. Field office, apartment, warehouse. warehouse. Yeah. Let's go see the the beautiful building that I can't believe they they, they demolished. There's a car. Anything else going on? Anything around? Warehouse. I don't know if I want to go in. Here's the gate. You know, and here's the building. Yeah. Look at that beautiful building. They had broken windows back then, too. You know, the building is still there. Like the yeah. old... Remember the, and It's a Wonderful Life where they throw rocks through the windows of the house that they ultimately buy and make their home? It's a shame no one bought that building and made it there here back. the building is still there you know <laughs> this is 2021 and this oh, is how the one this is how the building looks now but back in the day it looked very similar to how it looks in the game so this is the building in 2014 this is the mm -hmm. building in 1998 wow all right well it's rare now. uh okay now what us well, looking for stuff on Google Maps car. is more. Yeah, what? What do you suggest we do? Should we just go inside? Maybe there's something. Maybe Astrodorian is there. No, she's not here. Where could she be? I think we missed something in at the boat. We're supposed so we to give him another piece of evidence. The boat? Oh, something from the boat. Oh. From what? the ship. The ship. Hmm. From the ship. I shall check it out. <clears throat> Let's look around. <laughs> this game, man, is uh it requires some patience the nice thing is that you don't you know there's no, you're not in a lot of danger you don't i don't i've never i've rarely felt threatened well there are points in the game where there is a shootout and you need to shoot well so. when we shoot ourselves i mean that, that's the only danger is we're we are our, ourself we're a danger yeah we're there could danger. be a little ourself. more conflict though don't you think there could be a little Maybe. more a little <laughs> more danger <laughs> a little more of a ticking clock or something Something. Hey, it's like even the AI helper gave up on us. Yeah, what happened to that? He gave up on us, yeah. Do we have anything else in our evidence kit? No. What's... Okay. What's straight ahead? What's that? Oh, it's oh, the, the bomb that he kept in his pocket. <laughs> can we go I'm, even I'm, can, can we look can we look it up does somebody want to ask somebody to tell us this is getting kind of silly isn't it mm -hmm. okay let me look it up what, are, what about those blue barrels what are those blue barrels wait what's this what? What's under that? Oh, okay. Okay, let's let's leave the ship. Okay, but was there anything what, what under that tarp or in those blue barrels, or did they did they not light up? They they did not light up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whitey Wanderer came to the rescue. Yeah? What's he got? YT Wanderer tipped $10. It back quote SA miracle that you can turn this game's playthrough into an enjoyable watch. Kudos to all of you. 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's what I've been telling Paul. Every time he tells me that this game is super boring and he doesn't understand why we keep playing it. And I tell him that we have a great chemistry because the game is super boring. Because usually when the game is engaging, then we just watch the game and don't talk. Well, <laughs> Whitey Wanderer, thank you for your donation. I would have preferred, uh, it, along with your comment, to tell us <laughs> what we should be doing next. That would have been good. They Nobody knows because it's so confusing mm. somebody must know hey that's the ballard bridge I, I, that's the ballard bridge i think some of people were talking about that yeah the boat the bridge okay we're in the that's... ballard bridge and then yeah. what else what next what else Once look left the... look right are we looking okay let's look some stuff up here so no one's doing anything i'm gonna okay. try to look up what about back in the um the control uh, the upstairs room the um steering room whatever it's called what was it called maybe there's something up there something else up there upstairs the steering room let's go you know the, ups the what do you call it the upstairs room the upstairs room is the official name i think <laughs> what is it called <laughs> the bridge no, I'm looking, not, I'm looking it up. Um, upstairs. Walk through King. All right, here we go. What day are we on? No, the, the text walkthrough won't help you. What we you need mean? to watch the video walkthrough. I'm because the, I, I'm, I'm telling you, the, the text walkthrough won't help you because it will tell you go left, right, or left, but you can't find anything because the orientation sucks. So we did the coroner's office, we did the crime lab, field office. Had to wake him up. Go straight to the cabinet and open it. If I said, Golly's laptop has been taken. Head to your office, pick up the phone. You get a message from DC. We got that. Talk to Cook when he enters. Then log onto your computer. Look up media on Terracon. Then leave the oh, office okay. and head home. Ha! Do that. Let's go do that. Wait, in our office? Yeah, in our office. No, yeah, in our office. Not at home. But we can do it at home as well. Never mind. Field office. I did suggest looking up the the log stuff, but maybe that I was close. He's pretty good at walking indoors, man. I'll tell you. I think he, he might be the, the leader of FMV door walking. I don't understand why he's walking into the office as if he's walking into a surprise party. Like, yeah, hey, true. Yeah. hey, guys, <laughs> am I interrupting? No, 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 is it, no are you is, sure? This is where sure there's not a whole bunch of people in here that want to. <laughs> is everyone party? decent? <laughs> okay. Let's use the computer. It, this game makes no sense. Mm, what's happening? Okay, here we go. Hello. You've got mail. We've got mail. Hey, look at that. Now we're talking. She had to wander around a little bit. Okay. Oh, nice. Now we're talking. Agent Wilmore, the overlaying fingerprint on the ship Terracon has been lifted and photoed. You were right. It was left on top of existing dusted prints from original crime scene sweep. No matches found on databases I accessed. I accessed. Suggest you try all databases available to you for possible match. Other evidence and process of being a valuable contact to you upon completion. Regards, John Amos. So let's go on our database and try them all. Yeah. Okay. Search. No data found. Try it on FBI. the FBI. This is so stupid. Daniel, they worked very hard on this game. Oh, Bo, it's Mark Cook. You're a bad guy, Mark Cook. I knew it. I knew you were the bad dude. All right. 6'1, 150. Skinny. 
Six one one fifty. Come on. Good. All right. All right. So that's... Yeah, let's focus on the important stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's um he was born in he was born in October. All right. Wow. Okay, we learned some stuff. Mm-hmm. Now my heart's racing again. Oh, we use the tape. Okay. Boom. Yeah, let's go. Yep. And instant comedy. Right. So this basically was the thing that we were supposed to do at home. And this was supposed to trigger another scene. But first of all, I wonder why, what, what did we do to trigger getting the email? Because we didn't do anything special. Never mind. We didn't just, we do the Terracon? The, the greatest like... mystery in the game is what triggers events. Right. If you wander around enough, I guess. All right. Let's, you know what? It's 2.50. Let's get to the end of this day. I'm going to read the rest of I'm going to read since I'm on here. Uh, I we, think we should go to our apartment. Yeah. Yeah. There. Oh, there's an attachment. We did that. It's Cook's fingerprints. Log off. Go to your front door to let Cook inside. Look, Cook's going to knock on our door. Yeah. That's when what I've been home. waiting I have for. A feeling, I have a feeling he's going to. Oh, is that. You saw apartment 13? That was Curtis's apartment. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you knock? You could help. Oh, yeah, there we go. Finally. Wait, speak, I need to say. the devil. It's Curtis Craig. This is super Wouldn't it be great? Oh, uh, what are you doing? Don't go save. I need to him. save. All right. You're going to shoot him? I need to save. All right, because you plan on shooting him, don't you? Or, or, we might, we or. Might have to... What's that, right? We might have to shoot. <laughs> we may get shot. You're so calm about we it. Might... We just might have to. Yep, we just might have to kill him. I'm just excited something's Come happening. Come on, Curtis. Is it Curtis? No. Dang. Who's this guy? They're after me, man. <laughs> what are you doing? How's your ear? No, man, what the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be keeping me informed about your case. Have I been informed? No. I've been kept completely in the dark. Angry, peaceful, you know the policy, or indigent. Have a backup. Come on. If something happened. Choose. Choose an option. Where would your investigation be? Oh, what? Agents' lives are on the line. Angry, Maybe peaceful. Think about that instead uh, of how you can score indignant. points with A.D. Skinner. Wait, no, wait. I want to hear the rest of this stuff. Okay, indignant. And then Tori, well, I guess, what, what, did you want to be indignant? Thank Tori? you, Shot and Hager tips $3. Three dollars. my ass in the field. You got to try it sometime. That was harsh. Oof. You got me. Oh man, I don't know what the hell's the matter with me. I'm losing it. I've been being followed guy. by two guys in a sedan. I don't know who the hell they are or who they work for, but they're obviously government. I think Mulder and Scully stumbled onto some kind of corruption that runs all the way into the Bureau itself. Okay, but what's the deal with your fingerprints? Yeah. There's not much, much evidence to support that, or that's more than a little paranoid or I can see your point but is but it oh but and by it. the way thank you for was it who was that that just tipped Shot us Jaeger. Shot Jaeger. thanks bud and Zwex wrote to be honest everyone has been in the dark because the game lighting is terrible <laughs> <laughs> good one okay so you might be right so you may be right or so who are these go guys working for so are we gonna are Tor, we gonna confront to him? What do you think, Tor? I see your point, but it but it what? What is the rest of it? I can see your point, but it still doesn't add up to corruption. Mm, I don't know. The first one. What's the first one again? That's not There's not much evidence to support that. Well, let's just do that so we can hear more information. There's not much evidence to support that. Maybe, maybe not. But at this point, that's really kind of a matter of opinion. Hmm. All right, so fill me in. Lie to him, tell him everything, or yeah. tell him what he wants to hear. Hmm. Don't tell him everything, because I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. Tell him what he wants to hear. But isn't lying to him and telling him what he wants to hear the, the same, same thing? thing? Really, but... 
I don't know exactly, but it's not good. I think you're right. I think there's a smuggling ring bringing material into Seattle from the far east in Russia, and I think they may have infiltrated the Bureau. That's what I wanted we to need hear. To be incredibly careful. They could well be coming after us next. Just keep me in the loop. The more I know, the better I can do my job. What is your job? I've just been a little busy. Sure, but we're not talking about your grocery list here. This case has probably already cost the lives of two agents. Listen, just keep me in the loop. The more I know, the better I can do my job. You just said that. Wait, Ask we can talk to him about the fingerprints. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is a, this is it. Where this is huge. Fingerprints found on the Terracon. What? The Terracon. It's an ocean going tug. Burned it. <laughs> I know what it is. What are you saying? Just trying to figure out how come your fingerprints were found on a ship that's been involved in 10 deaths, two disappearances, and you should probably never even have heard of. Listen, I was called in to investigate that fire two months ago when it happened. I didn't find anything. It took me a couple of hours, that's it. So why did I never hear of it? Jeez, I don't know, maybe you were in the can. Yeah, you Look, I never mentioned stuff. it because it was way below radar. I filed my report with Shanks, end of story. All right, I may have left a set of prints, but that's all I did wrong. Wait a minute. Maybe that's why I'm being followed. I assumed the crew were smugglers, right? I, that's what my report said. And if they've seen my report, then someone in the bureau is involved. No, this you are. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. There's a massive smuggling ring paying federal officials, maybe even FBI agents, to not only look the other way, but to provide outright assistance including following agents who get just a little too close to the truth. Jesus, there's no way of knowing how high this goes. Yeah. Or how We're low. Mm -hmm. We can't take any chances. You keep you me in the loop. keep me in the loop. I don't want you to talk to anybody else but me until we can figure out what the hell is going on here. Yeah. yeah. I better get out of here before my car is spotted. Yeah. Okay. But remember, I keep me in the loop. Out. At the warehouse? Mm -hmm. Watch your ass. Yeah, all right, well, as I'm walking out the door, baby. Oh, man, we're supposed to go to the, the warehouse. He was, he was looking at his ass as he walked out the door. Let's go take a nap. What do you say about the warehouse? What, what, I missed that. We need to go so to fast. the warehouse. Wait, let's uh, see. I don't know if we have time for the warehouse, guys. Because I think we definitely, well, we, we, did we make our goal today? We kind of, we have to take away our, our friend Juex's. Well, we didn't. We didn't. Okay, so there's no Wheel of Curtis today. Wait. Let's go to the warehouse. Keep me in the loop, okay? Okay, I, I will keep you in the loop, but let's go to the warehouse. Maybe something just, interesting will happen. Just that he fa the fact that he said, don't talk mm. to anybody else but me is highly suspicious. What is oh, that truck. Is that truck. Let's go see the truck. What, he's getting in the front seat? And he slams the door? Don't you want to be quiet when you're getting in someone else's door? All right. Is there anything in there? Look in the glove part, box. Okay. Ooh, some trash. Pick it up. Look at it. Up the barbecue. There's a phone number. You gotta write down that number. Got it. Got it. Yeah, it's in our pocket now. RR112. One, one, do we have to write that down or do we own it now? Do we have We it? own it now. Sweet. Uh oh. We're in can trouble. We Someone's coming car? around. Can we, can run, we run, Daniel, run. Daniel, Wait, get uh, out. Get out. Yeah. I left out. I exited from the passenger seat. Woo. Yeah, nice work. That was some. That was some Man. Quick that was stressful. Oh, uh, we wonder why our climate is disintegrating. Nice work, Daniel. How do you feel? Are you all right? Yeah. All right, my friends. I think that we've had enough it. action for today. That was a lot. That was a lot. You okay, Tori? I'm all right. 
right. <laughs> Did you handle really, the you, stressful you, you, situation? I, mean, I gotta say, Tori, you you hung in there like a champ. I mean, you were the calm one the whole time. Yeah. Thank you. Paul you was losing one. it. <laughs> I was. I admit, I got a little, I uh, got a little emotional, a little scared. But then when Tori said, you know, we might just have to kill someone, it really calmed you me down. Right? Just, yeah. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's go to the apartment. Wait, we got mail. No, Temporary account. Here's Agent something. Wilmore, here are the phone numbers for Majestic Shipping. Good luck getting a hold of anyone. That's kind of like good luck getting a hold of anyone. <laughs> That's kind of. <laughs> I included the country codes as well. No, but we can't. We can't. Um... Do a long distance call because we we'll probably get a the phone bill like we did last time that we had yeah. to pay twenty five cents for calling our yeah. wife. All right. Okay. So. Okay. Let's save. No, wait. Let's go to the apartment and then save. This is a great game. Fun. You know, I was I was thinking before we started playing today that maybe this would be the last time we play and move on to something else but i'm hooked now i mean i am as, i am just as hooked as we i need to find be. scully and Mulder. we got it we can't we leave them it. yeah i'm sure so they're luckily, napping we, somewhere we saw a picture of scully playing this game so i think we're gonna in a cage okay. in a cage yeah so she's she does come out of it okay yeah or <laughs> she was she was still captured and they were like they were you know taunting her by making her play the game while she was still on mm -hmm. that was like the picture that they sent that the the captive sent to show that right. she was still she okay. was alive mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right well that was fun you guys kind of uh oh what happened? oh snap oh snap just do? a second i ruined I everything i remember this happening when i was in charge yeah but it's not happening again it okay. is it just did all right there we go um well nice job you guys thanks for thanks everyone for playing thanks for joining us uh what did we learn anything nothing nothing happened mm -hmm. but we're I, having I know, fun. I, I know one thing i know two things what Mulder and scully are missing and we have a partner now and mm -hmm. we haven't seen that partner since the moment she told us that she was our partner. True. And we can't trust, we can't trust Cook. We know that. But we can't trust him, but it's important that we keep him in the loop. Because that was yeah. that 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 was a big deal. We want to keep that Which guy. Which means we shouldn't in the keep loop. him in the loop, right? Loop. That means we shouldn't no. keep him in the loop. He didn't say what loop. We could give him any loop we want, but we gotta keep him in some kind of a loop. We can lie. <laughs> That's what we can do. And, and right. besides, the fact that nothing happens is, in this game is great because it um, it eases the way to new promotions each week because every week I write the same tweet over and over again. Mulder and Scully are pissing. Will <laughs> Agent uh, Delaney, Agent Craig, and Agent uh, Daniel will find them? And the yeah. answer is no. Every week, <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah, you've and next you week, I'll use the same tweet again. You haven't had to rewrite that post for a couple of months now. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep him in a loom. <laughs> Keep him in the loom. It's still day two. <laughs> I know we're just on day two. How many days are there? Get to day three. Damn. Wait a second. How many days? There's that's three, four. Looks like day three is pretty short. Four, oh. five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, we have like four more days. All right. Well, this could take up the rest of the year, you guys. So let's just uh, <laughs> let's just relax into it. On Wednesday, right. we're going to talk to Danny Delk. The voice of Purple Tentacle and Murray from uh, Curse of Monkey Island. Yeah. And our and then, Patreon members and coffee members got access to my interview with Bill Tiller, which was four hours long. And should I mention who we got an email from? Just to throw that out yep, there for those yep. who are still. So for those who stick around. For those of you who stuck around, we got an email from. Uh, the offices of Roberta Williams saying that she is willing to spend some time with us. And so we are going to set up a, uh, a reunion of our friend Tori and Roberta Williams, and they will talk. So exciting. 
and remember and reminisce about the days of Phantasmagoria 1. And we'll have you guys help us come up with some questions and it should be a lot of fun. So lots to look forward to in the coming coming weeks. Not the least of which day three of X-Files. Nah, we're, we're not, not going to make it. All right. All right. Tori, it's great to see you. Daniel, thanks for, for hosting and making it work. And we'll see you all. Uh, those of you who are going to come back, come join us on, on Friday for Monkey Island. All right. Bye, everyone. Yep. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye, guys. Ah, <sighs> Denny Delk.